Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, sorry to the guys over at Freedomizer Radio. I was listening there the other night, and just one of those bad days anyway, and then hit a couple of uh, pet peeves, you know, which is, first of all, waiting on the phone for a half hour and then getting uh, cut off mid-sentence. Can't stand it. Anyway, so we were talking about a couple things, and... Um, you know, those guys just jumped in and they started talking amongst themselves again. I said, hell, well, hell with it. See you guys later. Oh, my gosh. You know, what happened to that guy? Oh, my God. So, anyway, it was just one of them things. But, um, anyway, uh, some uh, economic stuff, since people haven't been talking much about it lately. You know, full-blown, you know, deflation is, is uh, showing, uh, rearing its ugly head out there. And it, it really goes back to, you know, a long time ago. I first started making a couple videos on here when they first started talking about these bailouts and, um, you know, everything's too big to fail and all this stuff. And, you know, right then I knew exactly what the overall plan was, and that was to reinflate these markets and keep uh, prices that were way too high, uh, keep them high. And it looks like right now, you know, we're seeing the numbers come out from uh, housing. The 30-year uh, fixed-rate mortgage rate is basically at an all-time low. And it's still not uh, incentivizing people to uh, get to go get a house. Really, what same person would? I mean, I don't care what the rate is. You have to look at the, the prices you know, market-wide in both commercial and uh, residential real estate, it's all way too high. You know, it's, it's still at these bubble prices. You know, the problem we had was prices of things being inflated way too high. And uh, the, the first thing when this stuff started coming down, the first thing it should have dropped was the prices of houses. Of course, the banks can't do that because uh, then they'd have to readjust their the valuations of their assets down and that's the last thing in the world they they can do uh, the second part of that besides keeping prices high I'm convinced when these guys you know dump the markets that was to cause you know panic and now people would have losses but uh, all is well now and see the markets are going up so that was supposed to get everybody to pile their money whatever they had left back in the markets and Exactly the opposite is happening, as I said it would way back then. Um, look, look at the um, outflows from the funds, and I'll link to that again. I've done it a, uh, a couple times in the last few weeks. The outlaw, the uh, outflows uh, from hedge funds and all these equity funds, etc. Uh, just so far this year, in the first five months, it's uh, basically it's thirty billion dollars is being removed from the markets, but of course, the markets don't reflect that. Um, no, they're basically just lukewarm. And, you know, even yesterday, these uh, they were calling for a big jump in uh, the housing, you know, prices and uh, unemployment from last week. You know, that came in. Still losing all, basically half a million jobs a week. And But the thing is, uh, this was supposed to be fixed in the by the second quarter of last year. You know, they said, yeah, this is going to work. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to print up all these trillions of dollars, but just you wait and see here in a couple months, it's going to be great. And we're still just falling off the edge of the cliff on all this stuff. And it's not going to get, it's, um, we're not, it's not going to get better because there are no jobs. You know, we really don't make anything any, anymore. And the only real sector we have in this country, they keep talking about the, uh, the service sector, you know. Isn't that just great, you know? Oh, yeah, the entire U.S. economy is made up of uh, food servers and, you know, uh, any type of de deliveries or cleaning hotel rooms. You know, it's bullshit. That's not an economy. It's a third world economy is what it is. So, um, I'll link, to, link to these articles, but, you know, and I'm not even, uh, haven't even mentioned what, is going on with this insane government and this oil spill. You know what? I think seeing everything, you know, this oil spill is mostly about starting with their biggest problem area, and that's the South, you know. 
they hate the South. There are some areas in the South that are big, first of all, big welfare problems for them. Second of all, in the South, there's people that resist all this stuff that, that they're doing. Blanket amnesty by executive order, um, mandatory uh, me, you know, uh, mental health and lifestyle changes and behavioral changes through executive order. And the best we can do is we got a couple senators that are quest that they have questions for Obama. They should be in there arresting Obama. For crying out loud. Um, they, anyway, I'm going to link you to these couple articles, but be ready to see this, you know, deflation in in real value compared with inflation in uh, prices of things that are coming. Food, just take food for example, it's going way up. But deflation in everything else is happening, so we're going to have this coupling of both inflation and deflation. It, and basic bottom line, it's a nightmare for the people, for the taxpayer, for the person trying to work. So anyway, thanks for your time. We'll talk to you later. Bye. She drugged you, sir. Before being reset to the blood test for being your best interest. coming from Reno to claim her. I know. Hard to hand call. Nicole Richards, 25. Her stage name is Raven. We trace the locker room key to the Embassy Strip Club. Your turn. Chef force laceration, frontal scalp with underlying fracture to the frontal calvarium. Cause of death, confusion to the brain and subdural hemorrhaging. Tox screen pegged her alcohol content at 0.30. That's almost four times the legal limit. Chronic drinking tends to cause a reduction in platelets. It thins out the blood, retards clotting. Well, that would explain why there was so much blood at the scene. Well, the only other thing I found.